Welcome to Electron Line. Now that we know how to find the solution to a first order differential equation, which is an exact differential equation, let's figure out how to determine in the first place whether or not an equation is an exact differential or not. So here we have an equation y e to the xy dx plus 1 plus x e to the xy times dy is equal to 0. Now you do recognize that this has the same format as we've seen before, that is the general format of an exact differential equation of the first order. And we can say that the solution to that would be u in such a way that the differential du is equal to this, where a is equal to the partial of u with respect to x, and b is equal to the partial of u with respect to y. Realizing that du is equal to zero, which means that u is equal to a constant. But notice, since a is the partial of u with respect to x, if we then take the partial of this with respect to y, we get the partial of a with respect to y, which is really the second derivative of u with respect to x and y. And then if we take the partial derivative of this with respect to x, which is the partial derivative of b with respect to x, which is what we have here, we also get the second derivative of u with respect to x and y right here. And of course, they therefore must be equal. So if this is an exact differential equation, then this will be true. So the way we can find that is to recognize that this here is equal to a and this here is equal to b. And what we're going to do is we're going to take the partial of a with respect to y, we're going to take the partial of b with respect to x, and then if they're the same, it's an exact differential equation. If they're not the same, it's not an exact differential equation. So we're going to take the partial with respect to y of the quantity y e to the x y. All right, so this is a product. We have to use the product rule, so it's going to be the first times the derivative of the second, which is e to the xy, times the derivative of the exponent with respect to y, which gives us x, plus the second, which is e to the x, times y, times the derivative of y with respect to y, which is 1. If we simplify this, this is equal to, uh, let's see, x times y, x times y, plus 1, when we factor out an e to the xy. So that is equal to the partial of a with respect to y. Now let's go ahead and find the partial of b with respect to, to x. So the partial of b with respect to x is a partial with respect to x of the quantity 1 plus x times e to the xy. And so we take the derivative of 1, which is 0, plus the derivative of this, that would be the first, times the derivative of the second, and of course, that would be e to the xy times the derivative of the exponent with respect to x, which is times y, plus the second, which is e to the xy, times the derivative of the first, derivative of x to respect to x is equal to 1. So simplifying this, you can see that this is equal to x times y plus 1 multiplied times e to the xy. And if you take a look at this and you take a look at that, you get the exact same thing, so therefore that must be an exact differential equation of the first order. And that's how we determine that.